Hello beautiful people, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel if you guys are new here. My name is Gianna Leanne and today we're going book shopping. I'm so excited. I haven't been book shopping since I can't even tell you the last time. I think the last time I uploaded one of my book shopping videos was like five months ago. But I was on a book buying ban and I was gone for a month. So we're gonna do some damage at the bookstore. I'm so excited. I don't really have anything that I'm really, really, really wanting, surprisingly. But we're just gonna go to the bookstore, see what we can find. I'm looking for some cozy reads, some thrillers. I don't know, I'm just like kind of in that mood. So we're gonna see what we can find and then I'll obviously give you guys a haul when I get back, of course. Make sure you guys give this video a big, big, big thumbs up and subscribe if you guys have haven't already because I would love for you guys to join the channel. Let's go buy some books. <laughs> it's okay if you don't feel the same book haul for the second time. I filmed this yesterday and my clip just completely was unusable. So we're back with another part, another take of our book haul. I did do some damage like I told you guys. I ended up getting four books at the bookstore. I honestly, I don't know what it has been lately, but every single time I go to the bookstore, I'm not looking for certain books or there's not a few books that I'm like, oh my gosh, I need to go and get these. I have a whole list and these are the ones I wanna try to find. I have not been like really, really on the search for any books lately. I don't know what it is, what's going on, but I just honestly went to the bookstore with kind of the vibes I had in my mind, even though that completely went out the door when I walked in the bookstore. I mean, you guys can obviously see why in the vlog part, but <laughs> I don't know. I just wanted to go for some cozy vibes, kind of just mood bookshop, if that makes sense. Out of the four books, the first one I got was The Nanny by Lana Ferguson. I have been wanting this book for so long, you guys. If you guys have watched some of my other videos, I have mentioned this on like books I want to buy, or like my spring TBR and I still just never picked it up because my bookstore just didn't have it for the longest time but then they recently just stocked up on a bunch of them so knew I had to get my hands on it right when I walked in the bookstore and saw that it was in stock because this plot is just crazy. It literally deals with a single dad and then a struggling woman that is obviously single and she decides to nanny this single dad's daughter but for money on the side she's also gonna kickstart her OnlyFans back up and I think there's just some tension there and I hear it's gonna be really really steamy. The text messages and stuff in this are so cool. I've never seen a book laid out like this before. Like that is so cool, like a full phone. I mean, the little phone parts are pretty steamy, I can't lie. I don't wanna read it to you because it's very smutty. But <laughs> that's what a book like this, you're gonna pick it up and that's kinda what you're asking for, in my opinion. So I'm super, super excited. He's like, the single dad is like a DILF, or like known to be a DILF. And then there's just like this woman, she's in a sticky situation. She just lost her job and now she has like two options. Find another job or start up her OnlyFans and she decides to do both. We're gonna have to see what, 
unfold all the chaos and stuff and just see what happens. I'm pretty sure it's not for chance. I'm pretty sure there was a little scenario with the single dad beforehand, years before. So that will add to it, make it even more juicy. Everything that I'm hoping for. And I'm really excited to pick this up. Honestly, it definitely is going to be a priority and top of my physical TBR, even though I have so many other books to read, but I'm mostly interested in this. I just threw a book. I'm mostly interested in this one. Then I picked up this book, Huge, by Brent Butt. I was just drawn in by the cover. I honestly didn't really read about it until I bought it and left the store, but it still seems super interesting. The cover hopefully will give it some justice and what it's all about, but I'm pretty sure this does follow like three comedians and one of them is the new guy. He's known as Huge, that's his name, because he's literally massive. He isn't actually very good at stand-up comedy, but he has another secret talent that the other two comedians are gonna figure out throughout the book and then throw in some murder, throw in some mystery. It's just gonna be a crazy ride, something a little bit different that I normally wouldn't have picked up, so I'm happy I kinda just went into it blind, was drawn in by the vibes of the book and just bought it because, I mean, you never know. I'm reading a book right now that I thought I would absolutely hate for my best friend Lily right now. Now. I thought I was gonna hate the book before I bought it, but now that I'm actually reading it, it's like four star plus, which is crazy for me to say. So this is your sign to pick up a book that you normally wouldn't read and give it a try. You never know. It's good to step out of your comfort zone sometimes. Okay, now I don't think I could have walked through all of those aisles of the Christmas books without buying a Christmas book, you guys. It was just inevitable. I knew it was gonna happen, but I ended up getting The Christmas Fix by Lucy Score. I was really excited about this because I didn't know Lucy Score wrote Christmas books because I've heard so much about her, but I've never actually read a book by her. I have two now, and I just haven't read her yet, but I was scrolling through my Goodreads last night, and I realized that this is the second in a series. I'm notorious for doing that. I've done that with so many books, but hopefully, I'm really, really, really hoping that you don't need to read the first one to kind of know what's going on in this one. Hopefully, they'll be like interconnected standalones. That's what I'm kind of hoping for. This one just seems so good. It's like enemies to lovers. It's set also in Connecticut after like a natural disaster and then it deals with like reality TV stars and home renovations and town renovations and stuff. So hopefully we'll get small town, enemies to lovers, a little bit of social media aspect, like make it modern. I don't know. I'm just hoping for all the Christmas vibes as well. I don't really know how the Christmas part comes in. Oh. The budget big enough to put the town back together. It seems like the perfect Christmas gift. And I loved the cover. It just like gave me all the Christmas vibes. This one was definitely a must. I'm super excited to get into a Lucy Score book, see if I like her writing because I also have Maggie Moves On by her. That one I've been dying to read. Hopefully Lucy Score doesn't let me down. I can see all the hype of why we love her so much and then maybe pick up more books by her because there's a lot of them that I have my eyes on. And finally, the last book that I picked up is Everyone Here is Lying by Sherry Lapina. La Pena. I'm so sorry if I'm mispronouncing this author's name, but this has been trending on Goodreads for a while now since it released. I enter giveaways pretty regularly through Goodreads, so I saw this one before it released and so many people wanted to read it. So as soon as I saw it, the cover kind of, it was familiar to me and I was like, I should just read it because I couldn't find a fourth book to buy at the bookstore for some reason. For the first time ever, I truly struggled to like look for another book that I wanted to buy, which has never happened before. Let me just say that. This one quote, says fast-paced and tightly plotted with twists so well executed they floored me loved every word and that was from another thriller author that's very very known but this one's giving like small town murder mystery well we don't know if it's murder yet but a whole mystery going on it's based around one family and the father has been having an affair that affair sadly ends very devastatingly and when the father comes home he sees his little daughter home from school and doesn't know why she's home from school and then that's when he loses his temper and then then move forward hours later and the little girl is gone so and everyone in this small town thinks it's so safe at, like it, that town is known to being super safe but after this happens secrets unfold and everyone soon realizes that this town is not as safe as everyone thought it was everyone is hiding a secret everyone is roaming the streets with something to hide and that is where the mystery begins and they have to figure out what happened to this little girl and what this town is trying to cover up as a whole. Something a little bit different. I feel like I stepped out of my comfort zone a lot with this book haul, which I'm happy for, because it's always good to try new things, especially an author that I haven't read before. I'm not sure if this is a debut for this author, but I feel like their name rings a very big bell to me for some reason. Ooh, wait, Lisa Jewell also wrote a quote. She said, the most addictive book I've read in ages. 
And if Lisa Jewell is saying something about this book, that just makes me more excited to read it. I've been in like a thriller mood recently, thriller murder mystery, so maybe this will be on the top of my list. I'm definitely intrigued and I'm happy that I ended up buying it because I am more interested now that I've had it in my hands than when I first saw it at the bookstore when I bought it. But that is my bookstore haul. I absolutely loved going book shopping. It definitely gave me my fix of book shopping because I haven't been in so long and it's so nice to be off a book buying ban even though I feel like I should start going back on one but who knows with all the Christmas books I've been seeing I definitely want to do a Christmas shopping vlog because Indigo already has so much Christmas decor I'm literally obsessed we'll just have to see what happens but I'm really happy with the books that I picked up especially the nanny I'm so excited that is definitely gonna be a next read coming up very soon I'm making sure of that let me know down below if you guys love to go book shopping what have you been picking up recently what have you been eyeing recently let me know down below in the comments and I also really really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you guys did, please make sure you like, comment, subscribe, all the YouTube stuff you guys know how to do. And don't forget to check that link down in my description for my Patreon to join the Patreon family so you guys get to see all the behind the scenes that everyone else doesn't get to see. My Patreons actually already saw this book call. They already got it before this is uploaded. Make sure you don't miss sneak peeks like that. But other than that, I really hope you guys are having an amazing, wonderful day and I'll see you next time. Bye! <laughs> fulfill. I'll use fulfill. That was a good one. Also, I'm gonna get yelled at for filming in here for the millionth time. Oh, that's a neck. Spoonful <laughs> of murder keeps the people away. No. Daisies. <laughs> <laughs> it's a potential thumbnail. I'm sweating. <laughs> she says there's no such word. <laughs> Sounds interesting to me. So, turns.